Start recording. Alright, so let me load up the game here. And I'll turn the volume down a little bit. So let me know if the uh, music is too loud and I can uh, turn it down. Uh, let me change the game uh, title here. So give me a second here. Uh, change the game title and let's So it changes us to Wizardry One PlayStation One More Death Awaits. Okay, so that is taken care of. Now let me get back to the game here. Ah, uh, Taka dead. No, I did not hear beeping anymore. Beeping is, uh, Gone away, so there's something with the Divine Divinity that's causing it to beep. Not sure what it is yet, but uh, I'll have to play play with it uh, off stream, see if I can uh, figure out uh, what's going on with that. And before I do that, I need to bring up my uh, Wizardry walkthrough, so we don't get lost. Alright, uh, give me a second, I need to bring up my walkthrough. And then we'll be ready to go. There we go. So we need to move this over to the other screen. So now I can see where I'm going. Very funny, Talking Jade. Very funny. I am wearing a plus five belt of beeping in divine divinity. So, uh, if we missed the last part of the stream, I uh, did go out and venture out and uh, explore some of the first area. And uh, did the first two sections, and uh, we'll be going to the third section since uh, I died. You now, one thing in this game you really have to be careful when you. Uh, Search for traps. It's very likely that your thief will get hurt. And you get poisoned and then your thief will uh, slowly die. So. Let's go to the edge of town. And go to the maze. Uh, 
Uh, uh we got Mojin. Um, I uh, opened up uh, Divine Divinity again, and uh, it started beeping again. So I decided to try a different game. So I decided decided uh, to try Wizardry again, and um, no more beeping. So I'm gonna put the Divine Divinity aside for a moment and uh, figure out why it's beeping, and then maybe we'll start that up uh, tomorrow night. And that beeping sound is very annoying. Uh, and I uh, don't want it to show up on my uh, on my videos when I uh, post to YouTube. So we'll come back to uh, Divine Divinity once I uh, figure out what's wrong with figure out what's the beeping sound coming from. So let's uh, read here. Nope. Let's see, do I need to heal anybody? And... Well, hello, Atana! Glad you could join us. Yes, we were playing Wizardry, and... Uh, most of the characters are named after uh, characters from Dragonlance. So... Let's heal. Alright. Let us go! We'll explore the uh, third area here. Oh, five orcs and four kobolds. Here. Work is dead. Fight one orc. Okay, good. How could you miss sleeping kobolds? How could you miss sleeping kobolds? You lost the book you were reading. How could you do that? Yeah, I've read through like 150 or so Dragonlance books. Still reading Dragonlance. Uh, five small humanoid. The monster surprised me. Runs away. Ooh, hit for two damage. Oh, because they weren't beeping. Yeah, I should uh, take a picture of my bookshelf of uh, Dragonlance books. I have a ton. So we will go this way. And we'll explore this dungeon here. Wow, I got some... Got spell here, I'll cast Casino here. On the five orcs. All the cobalt are running away. Yes, my mini library, Utana. My mini library. Oh, 
Oh, hey, we're doing pretty good here. Lot of uh, dead orcs. We will not be opening any chest here. The chest of my death. Oh uh, yes, I need to. Got three slimes and three orcs. Go the work. Oh wow, Top and Jade, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Copy of the history of D and D son, no, that's nice. Nothing in this room. In this room is a silver statue of a boar with horns and long fangs. On the wall by the statue is a message partially obscured that appears to have been left by passing elves. It is hardly, hardly legible, but some comments warning about ghosts and demons can still be made out. Yes, Carmen got an item. So we have a key. All right, got another counter. Never read any of the Drizzt's book. I heard that uh, the uh, beginning of the of that uh, Drizzt series was pretty good. But the uh, series gets worse as it progresses. Nice. There's a big reason why I'm leaving these chests. Because uh, there's a good chance that the chests are poison needle and that uh, I will get poisoned. And I have no way of uh, curing poison at this point in the game. So it's better to avoid it. So that my guy does not die. Uh, no experience. Yeah, documents gets better as you uh, go uh, deeper into it. Yeah, the radio series are uh, much more uh, thought, uh, thought about, thought through. You just have to stay away from the short stories, because those are not, most of them are not very good. So that's all for this little section. Five undead kobolds. Uh, now I could uh, cast undead, on, uh, dispel the undead, but you get less experience that way, so... Ow! Ow! Dead Kobold, another one's dead, and got 191 experience and 13 gold pieces. So let's go down here. So this is the second one. The second of four doors. Oh, 
move. We have the monster surprise me and the slime hits me. secret door here but of course nothing exciting so then there'll be another guardian over here slimes more boring slimes Thirty six GP, we'll leave the chest. And we are in this room. Oh, another encounter. Two skeletons. Well, we got to grind a lot in uh, Wizardry, uh, Talk and Jade. And there's a chance of permanent death. So if, you're, if your character gets uh, beheaded, you have to reload. Yeah, not one secret room with nothing in there. I don't know, I'm finding, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot about that one time. There are spells in, uh, in, uh, D&D that will permanently, uh, kill you. Yeah, I'm not sure why uh, all of it's not like wizardry. It has us, the roles in wizardry are quite similar to uh, D and D. So lower, uh, lower the armor class, the better. Doesn't have Thaco though. No, no Thaco in uh, wizardry. Five cobalt. Oh yeah, you can fail reviving. I actually haven't revived yet. I have not revived yet. Every time uh, my character dies, I reload my last save. Because it costs like 500 gold, gold pieces to uh, resurrect the dude. Oh wow, well, that's pretty rough man, that's pretty rough, Katana. So, we are at the third, the uh, third door here. So, let's do it. Actually, let's, um... Cast healing on, uh, Flint here. And we'll cast, uh, healing again. On... Gold Moon. That's better. I know, I really love, uh, I'm really liking this wizardry, wizardry game. 
Because when you die, you die because you did something wrong. I've written the group of cobalt leave. So, we have an option here. So, let's go up first. No guardian here. But we'll have a fight here. to this room. Oh, scruffy man. Be careful, this, 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 could, this could be hard. Sometimes these guys uh, hit pretty hard. Ouch. Chest. So I've entered in here. All right, there is a four on that cobalt. Okay, Dios again on Carmen. Two hit points. Oh man, this is like cure light wounds, man. Can't cast any more spells. So I need to get the hell out of here. Um, let me bring up the spell list real quick. I'm not sure if there's any second level healing spells or not. But let me see. Let's see, level 2 spells for the priest. What spells do I have here? No, no, no spells for priest. Hmm, yeah, the second level spells are pretty crappy. So! We have to get the hell out of here. I might die. I might die. Funny people works. Funny group of undead kobolds. Alright. Oh, uh, we have, what will win this fight? They'll probably run away. Alright, we're almost back home. And we survived. That was close. So let's go to the end. We'll get the cart here. 
Lots of money coming in. This is good. So, um, you want to stay in a cot or do you want to go to the economy room here? Uh, top of date originally? Originally? Um, I wonder if it says in the back of this. It's in Japanese, so I can't read it. Oh, it says right here. 1981. I think it came, first came out in 1981. But you probably want to Google it to find out for sure. They made uh, all kinds of um, copies of this game. Cause this game's also on the NES, Super NES, PlayStation One, and the uh, PC, obviously. And uh, it's also on the Mac. So uh, let's do sixty a night. Uh, let's do three hundred a week. Um, Cause my guys have a lot more hit points now. Oh, Carmen made it to the next level. Gained everything and only gained one hit point. Gained everything and gained 14 hit points. Nice. Go Moon celebrated your birthday. Go Moon, you need 166 more EPs in the next next level. Taz gained uh, all kinds of stuff and seven hit points. Oh boy, you need 421. And Nasdaq, you need 421. So pretty cool. So let us do our... Get out of that. Uh, hello Coyote, welcome to the channel. We are playing now uh, Wizardry 1. Uh, currently exploring the first level of the uh, castle. Yeah, there are a lot of remakes, Talk and Jade, and uh, there are a lot of wizardry games for the PlayStation in Japan. Unfortunately, most of them are not don't have any English translations, except for the ones in the main series. So uh, let's see if there's anything I can buy. So we have a breastplate right now. We have and uh, no weapons, unfortunately. But we can buy better armor. We get plate mail. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just first identify. Key of Silver. So let's pull the gold. We will buy a plate mail here. And then, um, then. Oops, we need to uh, pull the gold here. Yeah, I know Top and Jade. It's created in Boston, but the Japanese uh, apparently like it a lot more than uh, people in the West. But uh, so far, I am enjoying this game. Of course, I am only on the first level with it. Only on the first level. I heard that this game is, starts out pretty easy. 
but uh, it gets hard when you get to like level four. So let's pull the gold. I did that. So let's buy armor. I plate. Go to tavern here and inspect. I'm a class of one. Whoops. Alright, there we go. Cool, so we have that. And... Flint? And leave. Let's go back to the trading post. I don't think you can have plate, no, you cannot wear plate. Ooh, plate mail plus one, that'd be nice. Can't wear helmets. Ooh, I can get a shield. I'll share the large shield already. Gloves of copper. So expensive, these potions. So expensive. Alright, we are all done here. Let us uh, save the game. Yeah, you know, so it's still Japanese in this, because this is a Japanese game. Because uh, the PlayStation 1 version is, was only uh, released in Japan. And uh, luckily, the Japanese version contains uh, English for uh, most of the stuff. So. But you can also buy the uh, PC version that's very similar to this game here. In Japan, and there is a translation path for English to get you complete English. But I'm not sure how much the uh, PC version of uh, this various uh, release of game is. All right, let's go back and uh, finish exploring. So, uh, let's go here. And uh, we'll go out and uh, explore the rest of this level. We need to go back here because I missed uh, one room. Two shrappy men. Oh, I got 103 EP for that, and so we're coming into this room. We're gonna go over here. And two bubbly slimes. We can handle these guys. No opening chest. Cool, so that is pretty much it for that area. So we will go to the fourth door. Uh, we will take these uh, straight up. Alright, supply the monsters. Mm -hmm. 
Two times for seven damage. Nice. Hit gold man two damage. Yeah, find that fighting cobalt here. Yeah, right. I have 186 experience here. So let us go. We'll go this way first. Slimes here. What song do you have stuck in the head? Did you have the uh, wizardry song stuck in your head? Read. Another encounter. I liked my guys who are getting now getting two hits, so uh, things will die faster. Get less experience too, unfortunately. But uh, let's see what's coming. Nice, nice. So let's go back this way. Of course, there's another encounter here. So we have three bushwhackers and two weird humanoids. Oh shit. He's paralyzed. Oh. Oh. Oh man. The bushwhackers just, uh, the weird humanoids just, uh, paralyzed me. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh... Ooh, we have a zombie! Uh, Taco Jerry pretty much a zombie, uh, yeah, a zombie crawler. This is a, uh, dungeon crawler. There's not really much of a story other than, um, you're transported to this town to, uh, take on the, uh, bad guys in this, uh, in this, in this castle and try to get to the 10th floor. And, uh, try to kill the big boss and get the armlet. Once you get the arm yet, you uh, win the game. There is a story to this, but it's in Japanese, so I can't read Japanese. All right, 303. Since I have no way of curing paralyzation, we need to go back. Run. Can't I wanna face three zombies again. I wonder how much the uh, paralyzation is gonna cost. Four hundred gold. Oh, 
Holy smokes, that's expensive. Oh man. Oh, I guess we'll, we'll buy it. Wow. has been cured. Gain piety, gain vitality, and gain four hit points. Last of them made a new level. Learn new spells, gain piety, gain the agility, gain luck, and gain one hit point. Alright. So let's inspect uh Oh we can't uh view spells from here. Oh we got three levels of spells now. That's pretty sweet. How many IQ do you have, Abe? Yeah, have 17. Cool. So, uh, let's go here. And save it. Whoops. Wrong button. Save this game. That's rough, man. Getting, getting paralyzed. It's almost the same as barely dying. So let us uh, go out to the maze again. Pick up uh, Gold Moon again. Uh, I guess you remo removes it from your party. So we need to go to Adventures then. No uh, tavern. Alright, go to Edge of Towns. Go to the maze. Yes, Taco Jade, I, I, knew, I know that Lucy Lawless uh, voiced uh, Gold Moon. That's pretty cool. So we order. Common Print, Gold Moon. No, and then we need to cast the spell. Sucks. Mm, that's good enough for now. Yeah, I actually never seen the animated movie. It had a lot of good actors in it. And I heard that the story was not that great. Let's go here. See if we meet any more zombies here. You should fight the monsters. Fight. Alright, 15 damage. Woo, 
smashing them like they're the mob. Leave the chest. Very funny talking, Jade. You're gonna leave me just because I have not seen the Dragon Lance movie. Fine. Be that way. Alright, we have an encounter here. The monster surprised me. Miss. Miss. Run away, run away. We have kobolds. Sixty nine experience, uh, I believe. So we have uh, come down this way. We need to go down here. Maybe not this one. Four orcs. Most of these guys are gonna run away. Nothing here. Uh, some cobalt. Leave it. Alright, I don't know how to get to the other section here. Um, uh, let's see what else we can do here. Oh, so we'll not be able to get to that section until we get to the fourth floor. So, okay, so that's useless. Alright, so, uh... Let us go this way. Time for three damage. Oh, you guys, you guys suck. One damage. Oh man. Uh, some slimes. So, where am I at now? I am... Here. Oh, I know where I'm at. So, we need to go back up. Uh-oh. What just happened? I am in a room. I think I just got the uh, transported to the uh, third section of this first room. Let's see. 
What does W1 stand for? Uh, teleport N. Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. That's how you get down to that room. So, we have a new session to visit. And it's no, it's no easy way... Is there even a way out of here? I don't think I can survive this. Oh boy, I think we will, might die. But uh, let's see what we can do here. We might die. We might die. Hello, Spurious. Welcome. I've just been transported to a new location. And this new location, I don't think there's a way out. But uh, we'll see here. So let's go this way. So we are down here. And we are back to the store. Uh, yes. So that takes care of that. So... Straight up. There is a gem encrusted in the statue of a hooded man here. A golden light emanates from the hood. In front of the statue is an altar in which prudent incense is burning. Will you search? Yes. Find a group of Murphy's ghosts. I'll uh, leave. Let's skip this door for right now. In this room is a statue of a monster with the body of a chicken. And in the head of a cat, the statue is made of bronze and lies on an orange pedestal. There are unusual wounds on the plaque they're on. Will you search? Yes. Come and get an item. Huh. Uh, well, I don't want to cast a spell. Inspect. We got a key of some sort. Whoops. Alright, um... Okay. Let us go here. Uh, oops, that's right. And we want to go. There's nothing up here, I don't think. And now I'm back on the other side again. So let's, um... Let us take this middle door here. And see where it takes me. Oh crap. Okay. Well, let's um uh, 
Let's see here. Which direction do I want to go? Go this way. And you can uh, welcome to welcome me to my death here. There are buttons here, marked A to D, press 1, press X to leave. So this is an elevator. And uh, it can take you to uh, floors uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. But we're not going to do that right now. But since I am at the elevator, I do think I know how to get out of here now. So we just got to go straight down. And I believe it will take me out to a familiar area that we've uh, been in. So I am here. And then... A lot of time in the wall read out of bounds, area out of bounds. And I made it. So we got five kobolds. So we pretty much explored this uh, entire area. There is one other thing we need to do here. We need to head back into the uh, dark zone. And there is a special character, I should say. So we will go up. So we have one, two, three. One, and then there should be a wall here. Cool. And then go up. So we're gonna go up, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna make a left here. And, whoops, wrong button. A strange glow seems to emanate from these, this room. In the center, a smallish man in a long robe turns towards the party and shouts, Be gone, strangers! He slowly waves his hand and chants, Mapro! Mahama! Dryomat! And poof! Just like that, I am in the, uh, In town. That's pretty cool. So we completely explored the uh, first level of uh, this dungeon. So we are actually ready to move the second level. So you can. Um we'll stay here for. Uh a week? Uh, 
uh, 2000. Gold Moon made the next level. Learn new spells and uh, gain all kinds of stuff and two hit points. And of course, lots more experience. Whoops, wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. Let's go back here and sell my stuff. Identify. So we have the uh, bronze key and the silver key. Flint here, and I'm gonna sell the bus plate. That's good there. Save it. Continue. Yes. Yeah, we're ready to go back into the uh, dungeons here again. So, um... Alright, we are ready to go to uh, floor number two. So, let's, uh... Hope for the best here. And that kobold is uh, trying to kill me. Going to floor number two. This could end badly. So let me get my map for floor two. So where are we at here? Now this floor doesn't look too, too bad. Um, let's see here. Where is the up floor? Okay, I see where I'm at. So I want to go... Hmm, what's the best way to handle this? Okay, let's go straight up and see what happens. Oh crap, things just got real here. Just reading up a little bit. So, let's go. We might die here. We might actually die. That seems more, more than likely that we will die. So, we will go up this way. 
Uh, we won't take that door at the mo for the moment. But we will take this door here. See if I die here. It's a family group of creeping crud. We'll leave there. A friendly group of zombies. Ah, oh, what the fun in that? All these uh, enemies are friendly. So. Take this one, the middle one. A friendly group of gas clouds. Oh, we have six creeping cruds. I have no idea what these guys do. Uh, this is going to be quite a learning experience, I'm, I'm sure. And let's do it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is... No, nah, this is not good, man. This is not good at all. Death is coming. Well, since I'm gonna die anyway, I might have to reload. Uh, let us, uh, inspect. This arm. You need to just get five gold pieces out of that. Yeah. That was bad. Let's see what we got here. We have slimes here. Oh, oh, everybody can poison me here. This sucks. Oh, man. Uh, oh, because they are just uh, creeping threads again. This is bad. So let's uh, restart this. And uh, figure out how we're going to handle this. Poison. Uh, Tana, not yet. Uh, Cure Poison is a level 4 spell, and she only has uh, level 2 spells. Oh, 
uh, 600 gold. 300 gold for uh, cure poison. Yeah, but I could buy you know, those for the three hundred dollars a pop. Three hundred dollars a pop. Buy two of them. Ah, oh, man. I don't think you're supposed to grind until we get to, uh, Yeah, she has level three spells too. Whoa! Oh, I didn't know she had level three spells. What's level three give me? So, uh, Lama Lua. Is a light spell. And, uh, last two map pick. Tells you exactly who the monsters really are. So yeah, that's uh, so level four allows me to get the poison, sp the cure poison spell. Uh, it'll be a little while before I get there. Let's see. Look at the. Let's look at the uh, magic users here. Uh, you only have one spell that can be cast here. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hit the road. Undead Kobold. fight some guys around here and see if we get uh, anything that's not a one of those slimes of course we may not get any encounters this way um, let's see here where else can we go To, we'll go this way. It's pretty much a straight shot. We might end the encounter here. Um, there should be a door coming up here. Let's 
That has an account of, so let's see what we got. Five level one priest. Fight them. So let's cast Katino. Okay, we killed the priest. So you got 400 experience. Nice. Oh, I can catch Kelfo. Kelfco. Kelfo. Let's do that. Let's, uh. They tap a chest. Nice. Oh, we have uh, 23 gold pieces. Keep going round and round and round, and we will eventually get to the stairs to the next level. And that will take you down. Priest weren't too, too bad, but uh... Oh, Rasen got hit. Hmm. So we'll kill him. And uh Gold Moon will cast Dyers on Herman. And that's that's it. So let's uh keep rolling around here. Keep going around in a circle here. Alright, that's one section done. But uh, you can't really do the other section until I go up there, so... Whoops, wrong direction. So we need to go over here. Hope we don't meet any creepy crawlies. Priest, nah. that's good. Kalfko again. Ooh, poison needle. Uh, we'll do this arm. Get some more gold. So we survived. No fight there, that's good. Not bad, in a way. Hmm, 
two of them. We have to do it. Take a chance. Missed. Good. Alright. We survived an attack on the creepy crud, so they did not poison me, which is good. Yes, grinding away, uh, Game Life Game. We uh, made it to the second level of the, uh, the maze. We will uh, head up here. Five Kimodone men. Mm. We'll fight. So let's fight him. And. Uh, let me look real quick and see what these spell, all these well, wizard spells to do, because I'm uh, not quite sure. So, Mograph. I uh, need to get to the mid level spells here. Reduces the castle's armor class 2. And Halito causes a flame ball. That's pretty useless. I need to uh, put the uh, focus back on the game here. So, level 2, we have Dilto. Causes a one group of monsters to be enveloped in darkness, reduces the ability to defend against your attacks. That's pretty helpful. And Sopic. Causes the cast to become transparent, thus reducing the armor class by 4. And level 3 is Malito. Fiery Explosion. That's a pretty awesome spell. And Molita, Molito causes spark damage half the monsters in the group for 3 to 18. Nice. Oh, I think I got, I got somebody in, in this uh, chat who uh, played this game before. So we'll go with uh, Mali Mahito here. And we will parry here. Don't need two fireballs here. Then. Oh wow, that spell is OP, man. That spell is OP. Killed everything. Then if we do health go here. Another chapter's chest. Alright, another counter. Friendly group of zombies. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, spell names are very confusing. It makes it very hard to uh, figure out what's what until you actually use them all the time. So, that took care of those guys. That's definitely a spell I want to cast on those uh, slime balls. That's for sure. So, let's go back up here. Hmm. Do I want to kill these guys? Let's do it. Pray! You're right here to pray, because uh, we could die here. Missed. Woo! 
that was close. That was so close. Hmm. Well, Dave, we're not going to open any chest of poison needle. And, uh. Yeah. Got poisoned way too many times by the time this on that one. So we won't be opening that chest. Uh, thank you, Game Life Game. I'm glad you like the name choices. For those of you who do not know, these names uh, come from uh, the Dragonland series. You see a statue of a bear on the pedestal. On the wall with the sign reading, I've got a million of them. Will you search? Yes. Come and get an item. Alright. So now, if we, uh... Oops, wrong, wrong one. If we inspect Carmen. He has a statue of some sort. So, yeah, it's got some statue. We will be needing the statue in a little bit here. So, alright. Alright, so let's get my map again. So that's a uh, pretty good uh, pro progress here. Not sure how much further I want to go without um, without saving. So let us go down. We want to go down. Oh, we need to. Whoops. Uh, this place have one on one. Oh, there we go. Yes, please. It's, it's, uh, has some of the same rules as the Dungeons and Dragons, but um, it also has its own take on it. And uh, dying in this game is uh, very possible. And there are chances that you will not be able to resurrect your, your dudes if they do die. Wizardy 1 has been ported for, for many uh, systems. Uh, which is the one that has been on the uh, NES, Super NES, PlayStation, I believe the Sega Saturn as well, PC, and uh, Mac. Yeah, this is the PC. This is the uh, PlayStation One version, Spurious. Yes. All right. Whoops, wrong way. I am lost. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way. And then we'll go here. Okay, and now I'm out of that uh, section. Alright, so let's go down here. We'll skip this door for now. Uh, yeah, the alignment. There's alignment in this game, and it's pretty, uh, pretty brutal with the alignment. If you have uh, good characters, you can you cannot have good characters and evil characters in the same party. So you can either uh, go all good or all evil, or go neutral. So uh, I decided to uh, go good for most of our, my characters. The uh, thief is neutral because you can't have a good thief. So, 
So we will go for this. And we will go down here. And uh, there will be a guardian here. Five weird humanoids and three slimes. We will fight these dudes. Okay, and uh, cast Melito on the slimes. And we will cast Melito on the humanoids. Poison! We got 708 EP on that fight. Luckily I bought some potions of uh, pure poison. Uh, have Taz inspect. Alright. Need a whopping 5 gold pieces. So... Okay, now I need to camp. And... Go to... Trade. With the gold moon. So, uh, yeah. We will uh, head back since uh, we lost all the high level spells. Because uh, we can't take those uh, slimes on easily here. We'll go back this way. And we'll head up. And we will head this way. Upstairs. Now fight here. Three slimes and five. Oh, we can handle these guys. These guys. We got a lot of experience on that. Oh, the orcs are running! The uh, slimes on the first level are not scary. The slimes on the second level are scary. So, we made it back to town and survived. That's pretty awesome. So, let's stay at the end here. So, uh, we'll stay at the uh, cart here. Alright, Carmen went to the next level. Gain strength. 
13 hit points. Nice, nice, nice. Friend, next level. Lost Vitality, gained everything else, gained one hit point. 390 EP. Taz, next level. Lost Strength, no! Lost IQ, Lost Vitality. Oh, that was a bad double up. This is pretty cool. So let us, uh. So, what we got here? Any new weapons yet? No. No. Nothing good yet. Buy another potion. The broken item. What item broke? I have the mace, the large shield, and the breastplate. Not sure what that item was. Here. A statue of a bear! Can I sell the broken item? Hmm. The gold moon has one and Taz has one. Let's go to the tavern here quick and inspect the uh, common here. 16 strength. With 38 hit points. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, 15 strength. Now he's not doing too well. Uh, let's go here. Save it. And it's... We will continue to uh, explore this, uh, the uh, second floor here. Yeah, we'll do uh, one more run here. Okay, where do we want to go from here? Well, we're definitely going to go up this way. We have to explore uh, this area down here. Friendly group of creeping crud. Leave. Alright, let's see if we can find another guardian down here. No guardian. Okay. Two priests. Aren't too bad here. 
That's that. Oh, keeping quiet again. They must be exploring too. A friendly group of zombie. One man in robes. It must be a wizard. Nice. Okay, let's go up this way. One level one mage. I like the fact that you don't always know what the uh, bad guy is that you'd be fighting. That's kind of kind of cool. On the silvery disc stands a statue of a frog wearing a red and blue cape. The statue animates and shakes. Yes, its legs while it yells. Yeah, yeah. Research? Yes. Come and get an item. So, what did you get? You have another statue here. An unidentified statue. Got the broken item. Okay, let's go to the other side. Nothing interesting yet. So we fully explore this area. Two priests. Alright, we should be able to handle these guys. Okay, so that's that section. So the next area is gonna be the fun area. Uh, well, we'll have fun with this part, I'm sure. Uh, we'll keep going. So uh, we have total darkness. Back in the dark zone again. Okay. One, two, four. Okay. One. One, two, three. Cool. Alright, wrong direction. I want to go this way. One. And then... Right again. One and... In this room is a statue of a monster with the body of a chicken. And the head of a cat. The statue is made of bronze and lies on an oink's pedestal. There are unusual wounds on the plaque therein. Will you search? Yes. Print got an item. So let's go down one. Doesn't matter which way we go. So we go this way. And then we'll go up one. Mm. 
Lost. We're stuck. should be where we exit maybe no so that means it must be on top or on the side so let us uh, go to no bounce around Two and nope. Uh, let's turn and we go one and two and crap. Magic users are killing everybody. No! No, 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 no. No. Yeah. I'm lost. I know a dead character, so I think that will be all for tonight. We'll have to attempt to get in there again. Next time, since I lost my priest. So uh, thank you all for coming. If you have not yet, you can uh, follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. 
you can see in the uh, host details below. And I'll be streaming again uh, probably tomorrow afternoon sometime, maybe 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, probably short stream. It'll play some more wizardry. And uh, depending on whether or not I can fix my issues with Divine Divinity, uh, I will be uh, playing that tomorrow night. If not, we will play some more, uh, more wizardry. So, uh, we have a lot to look forward to. So, thank you all for coming, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. <laughs>